Welcome to the Scoreboard, I'm Ben Roof, here to tell you about all of our local athletics. Today, we're talking about the start of lacrosse season. The Eagle Valley girls team kicked off their spring season with a game against the Tough Fruita squad. They fought hard, but ended up coming up short with a score of 10 to six. But they were looking great for the first half of the game. However, they started to slow down towards the second and Fruita was able to dominate possession for the rest of the game. Fruta also played the Battle Mountain Girls squad this week where our local Huskies were able to keep the pressure on and take home a victory with a final score of 11 to five. The Husky girls were looking really strong this season and we're super excited to see just how far they will go. Later this week, Battle Mountain and Eagle Valley will face off against each other at the Eagle Valley High School at 4.30. We can't wait to go support our local girls and see the results of that big high school rivalry match. Moving on to look at boys lacrosse. The Eagle Valley and Vail Mountain schools kicked off the varsity season against each other on Friday. Despite the cold and the rain, both teams had a strong start at the field at Eagle Valley. The Devils came out on top thanks to some aggressive offense, finishing the game with a score of 10 to six over the Gore Rangers. We spoke to one of the Eagle Valley coaches about the game and how their season has started so far this year. All right, we are here in the scoreboard with Tom, the coach of the Eagle Valley Devils varsity lacrosse team. And you guys just won your home opening game. Tell us a little bit about how the game went today. Uh, for the start of the season, it was great. Um, you know, it's quick. We only had two weeks of practice, and kids were on break for half of that. So we haven't had a lot of time to work with the kids. Um, but all in all, it was a great start. Kids were working off ball. Um, they were getting gritty, going for ground balls, and it was all in all a great start. Well, it definitely shows in the scoreboard today. So do me a little favor and tell me about your team this season and how it's compared to seasons in the past. You know, we have a great group of seniors, a lot of leadership with these guys. Um, they're very selfless. They play for each other, and that's what we like to see as a coaching staff. Oh, fantastic. So among your um, seniors this year, who are you really looking towards being captain, assistant captains, more or less leading the team formally? So we have Julius Peterson. He's a midfielder. Um, he's been starting on varsity for four years already. Great player. Um, we have Josh Brissett. He is um, another one of our captains and close defensemen. And Maddie Bradford, Bill Christian kids playing for us, another captain. And they're great kids. They play for each other and they get the job done. So is most of the team pretty experienced at lacrosse or do you have anybody who's just starting to pick up the sport? We have a great mix of kids. A lot of kids have been playing since, you know, uh, fifth, sixth grade. We also get a lot of kids that come out, you know, as their first year as freshmen and sophomore. And, you know, we don't turn anyone away. We don't cut. And, you know, it's a great family environment on our team. So when you don't turn anyone away, you don't cut, is there any issues with dealing with that many kids? Do you have to split the team up, varsity, JV, and a freshman team, or? We'd, we'd love to get a freshman team. Uh, we just don't have enough kids for that right now. We're put, we have about 40-ish kids, um, and we want everyone to be included. So how did you convince somebody to play goalie? <laughs> well, I'm a goalie myself. That's what I've been playing, so I coach the goalies primarily. Um, it's a brutal position, right? You're just a human target out there. But, um, you know, our goalie tonight, Kyle Woodford, has been playing for quite a few years, and we really relied on him tonight. He did a great job. Well, awesome, Coach. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us, and well played tonight. Best of luck in your next game. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. Yep. That strong senior core looks like it's really going to set up the Devils for success this season. Now, let's take a quick look at this week's Game of the Week. As this spring season kicks off, we're excited to see what these athletes are capable of. The game that we are most excited for this week is the Vail Mountain School girls varsity soccer team against the Aspen Skiers on Saturday. Following on the heels of the Vail Mountain School's boys team state championship title, it's going to be a great opportunity for the girls to test their mettle against a strong mountain rival. That game is Saturday at 4 o'clock, played at their beautiful soccer field. Hopefully we'll see you guys there to support our local girls soccer team. This has been The Scoreboard. I'm Ben Roof. Thank you so much, and we will see you next time.